Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? Brian over here at the Little Orchard Farm. Thought I would give you a barn update today, as well as uh, maybe carry you along on the next activity for the barn. So we've got the barn now um, wainscoted. It's completely roofed. So I think I can show you that real quick. Doors have been framed in. completely roofed the um, house wrap I call it house wrap it's the uh, weather barrier uh, the guys have put that on uh, I'll have to come back and put it on up here so what what I'm doing here is is I'm gonna put the board and batten on the barn to make it match the uh, the cabin I've got the board uh, I've got the board and batten or at least a, a good portion of it I may have to actually order some more uh, but uh, I've got the board and batten, and I will begin doing that really, really soon. Um, however, the very next activity that needs to occur is we've got to get the concrete floor in. And so I've got a couple of guys that's going to come out and help me move some rock around because, as you can see, the bottom of this all the way around, it's like a foot over here. And... I think I discussed that a couple of videos back when I was actually grading this out, is that I could tell that there was about a foot drop from corner to corner. And sure enough, uh, that's about what it is, uh, between 10 and 12 inches. And over here, it even dips down a pretty good piece. That's more than a foot over here. And so I could have done one of two things. I could have brought dirt in, and if I'd have brought dirt in, I would have had to have packed that dirt down. And so that would have been a, a, a considerable amount of time to, uh, to pack several, several inches up to a foot of dirt. Um, and so what I'm opting to do is just to, man, bring, bring gravel in. Uh, gravel is not overly expensive. It's a little bit more expensive than it was a year, year and a half ago uh, due to the pandemic. Uh, however, it's still affordable, uh, reasonable, and a, um, a very effective solution for what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to start bringing gravel in and, and we're going to grade this out. Uh, first activity that I'll end up having to do is, of course, clean all the building materials out. So I'll get that out of here. A lot to do today. Let's do this. Pull out your stopwatches. Ready, set, let's go. How'd I do? Under 10 seconds? Whew. That's a good little workout. All right. Let's get some gravel in here.
More rock has arrived. Light, you get the point, right? Loads and loads of gravel. I'm just bringing it in. I'm not even really trying to grade it at all. I'm just dumping it. Uh, when the concrete guys who are gonna be uh, actually floating my pad get here, they're actually gonna help do the setup or the grading of the rock. I'll leave that to them. I'm just gonna give them plenty of rock to work with so they can rake it around and shovel it into spots. Uh, he came out last week and we shot grade we using a laser so I know he's got a laser and so he'll be able to, to set his little stick anywhere on here and we should be uh, we should be within you know half inch or an inch of grade so I'm gonna keep doing this I'll show you a finished shot when I'm done and then I think the next uh, the next time I join you will be when the concrete guys are here. They're supposed to be here uh, this evening or tomorrow uh, to begin the grading part. So maybe I'll give you a few shots of that if, uh, if they don't mind being on camera. We'll see. <laughs> well, right, let me finish this up. I love the mornings out here. They're so peaceful and quiet. So before the guys get out here to help me start grading, I thought I'd show you the, I, I put in a couple of drain lines. Where the concrete comes in and gets laid in, I wanna have all my drain lines and everything in place. So I just created a couple of little stubs and stub these up. There's two here, which is a, um, a vanity drain, a, stud a studerman, studer, a studer event, uh, and then the water line is off behind it here. You see that, and then over here is a toilet. And so those those are just um, there's elbows underground here, about a foot and a half, and then it just goes out here and stops. And then we'll come in here and put the concrete in, and then I can complete uh, the um, the drain. And then the only other one, or another one that I put in place was the electricity. And over here, I did the same thing, something very similar. Um, got, goes down. And what we'll do is we'll, we will pull the, um, what's called uh, one alt, one alt, uh, wiring from the junction box at the cabin over to the barn and there's actually three strands that you have to pull and so we'll pull those strands and that will provide us the electricity to the barn so anyway wanted to share that with you got those couple of activities done yesterday afternoon we'll get the uh hopefully we'll get the guys in here to do their grading and we'll get busy here in just a little bit.
All right, so I'm up at them early the next morning as we have, man, we worked so diligently and hard yesterday to get this on grade. Let me show you. I really think it turned out really awesome. You can kind of see we've got uh, everything pretty leveled out. It's, um, it's about, supposedly it's about a half inch below. You can kind of see the, Let's see here. Let me get my hand working here. Whoop. It's you can see where the um, where the crack is on the on the wood. That's about the rock should be about a half inch below that wood, and that's going to give us our four inch slab that will be going in here, and um. And so we've got just a couple of activities left to really wrap up the preparation. Dylan and I were out here late last night loading rock into this area. We're trying to create a nice slope coming off of here. And so we've got, uh, we've got to get that knocked out. The only thing left really to do today is to uh, get on these other two sides, the, the back side and, and the other side over there, get this wood attached and get some rock thrown back against it. I think that won't take very long at all. And we will be ready for concrete. Ooh, I'm excited, I'm excited. So in a four week period of time, we went from scratching dirt to having a 64 by 60 pole barn erected. <sighs> Next few weeks will be uh, doing some electrical uh, running and some uh, board and batten uh, uh, installation on the barn. And uh, once we get the board and batten up, it's dry. It'll be in the dry, which I, I guess it's under roof. It's in the dry now, but it'll be really, really in the dry and more secure. Uh, doors and the board and batten will, will really kind of wrap that up. We'll be able to start storing things in here, uh, start moving a lot of the um, uh, things that... <laughs> The RTV and the tractor that have set outside for the last several months will be able to move them in to a more protected area and store them. Uh, so we're really excited about that. Well, I'm really excited that you guys are joining us for this uh, for this little barn build. A lot of really cool things still left to come, uh, including doing the electrical work. We've got plumbing to do. We're going to start doing a little construction, interior construction, as we separate out the wood shop from the rest of the, of the barn. The lean-to, we've decided we're going to make into a studio, um, uh, a, a, a studio guest bunkhouse uh, where, man, uh, it's going to be an open floor, uh, with a little kitchenette and a and a bathroom, and so excited about that, uh, and so yeah, it's it's um, uh, a lot of work still left to do on it. So I hope that you guys will come along with us and and join us as we do that. Uh, I've got a playlist put together, <clears throat> pardon me, of our barn stuff, and if you're interested in going back and kind of seeing this coming up from the ground. Uh, I encourage you to do so. I think it'll be awesome. Uh, but thank you for joining us this week. I hope you guys have a, an absolute wonderful week and a very blessed week. Till we see you again the next time, we will. See ya. <laughs>